in the East Bay, a bittersweet day for generations of customers. Today, a taste of Denmark on Telegraph Avenue in Oakland sold its very last pastry, and a big crowd came for their final bite. The bakery has been in business for 93 years, and tonight, ABC7 News reporter Tara Campbell captured what exactly makes it so special. Heavy-hearted customers waiting for hours Sunday for one last taste of a taste of Denmark. It's a wonderful bakery. For 93 years, this beloved bakery has been serving up everything from butter cookies to carrot cakes. My family got cakes here my whole life. My parents' wedding cake was made here. I had it recreated on their 15th anniversary, and I've got all my children's cakes here. It's made with love, and it's been around for almost 100 years, and it's, um, it's a staple here in Oakland, and it's just sad to see them go. Colleen Coop has been coming here her entire life. I started in a stroller with my grandmother 70 years ago, and every holiday season, we buy twin rolls for Thanksgiving. People packing in, picking off pastries and pies, and saying their goodbyes. You're not retiring, right? Well, I'm pretty close, but not retiring. Ramon Luna is one of the employees who took over the business more than a decade ago citing rising rent and increasing inflation as just a couple of reasons they're closing. We've been hit with all the, everything that we, you know, the pandemic, the increase of uh, ingredients, uh, everything's, and it's just making it tougher for us to uh, continue. The memories more meaningful than the money, the muffins and the monkey bread. This is where his mother worked. When I was nine years old, she was working here as a clerk. And that's how I started learning about the business. And then uh, when I was 18, I, I started working here. All my stupid in. And passing that tradition on to his daughter, Bianca. Uh, Southern custard. And this lineup hasn't relented all day. It's now well past closing time, and it's still going strong. This is probably what you'll see on a, on a holiday line. <laughs> So this is impressive. If I, uh, if I would have had this support earlier, I wouldn't be closing my doors. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.